Good evening, good morning, good day. Warren Buffett said the first rule is never to lose money. And that is what I always concentrate on. He actually says the second rule is to look at the first. So while we're playing at this earth, we have to remember the whole concept of this thing is that it's a money-making game. And it's one of four, I've always said, apps that I found that actually do make money. I actually paid off. In 18 months, I have made $200. I have been playing every day. I have looked for over a thousand games and a thousand apps. This one pays out. It pays off well. It pays out consistently. So I'm just going to go over a couple of tips because a couple of people when I go to the chat room ask me for the tips. And like I said, I've been playing intensely. Now, how did I play intensely? Well, I was homeless and unemployed. But through tragedy and loss, we find time to do things. So besides looking for a place to live and looking for a job, which really in this day and age is basically making phone calls, you got a lot of time to play apps. And this one I did play a lot and have concentrated a lot. So when you first start Atlas Earth, as I've said in other videos and other commentary, the goal is to get parcels. But there's also other components of the game. So you get parcels by earning Atlas Bucks. The best way to earn Atlas Bucks is watching ads. Every 20 minutes, you get a chance to get two Atlas Bucks through the online store, through the app store, and you watch them, you get your two bucks. The other way is through merchants. Now, somebody actually asked me, what do I mean by merchants? Well, if you go to get cash also in the app store, in the app, you should see a list of merchants in your area. The ones in my area are Auntie M's, uh, Advanced Auto Parts, and Burger King. Burger King I frequent probably the most because besides Atlas Bucks, I get crowns through their app. So that's the one I use the most besides I like Burger King. So if it's something you're going to do anyway, you should use it. Now, to get the bonus Atlas Bucks, which in Burger King's case, and always check the app to see if there's any changes, that every dollar you get three Atlas Bucks. So if I buy something at Burger King for $10, I get 30 Atlas Bucks. It's pretty quick. Now, it has to be a Visa or MasterCard that's attached. And it also has to be a credit, not debit. Easiest way to make sure of that is to use the Burger King app or the Anti-Am app because you're not using a PIN. Go to 33, you get your points. I always see the Atlas Bucks. That's how I do it. Okay? Now, besides merchants and getting money through watching ads, there's also diamonds. Now, when you're traveling in the car or walking your dog, as I do, you pull up the Atlas Earth maps and you should see little diamonds pop up. And when you're close enough, you can hit it. So when you're a passenger in a car and you see a diamond coming up and close in, zoom out, hit the diamond. That at midnight, the Atlas wheel respins. You can get another diamond, which we all that play don't like. Or you can get up to 50 Atlas bucks in one shot. I've hit the 50 three times in 18 months. It's not rigged. Some people have hit five. Some people have hit five diamonds. People complain, I think it's rigged against me. I hear the same thing in casino when people play blackjack. It's not rigged. It's odds. It's a chance. Now, while you're traveling along and you see the diamonds pop up and you're in your passenger side or on the train or on the bus, stop at six diamonds. Can't use more than five per night, five spins. No point in getting. I've got over 1,900 diamonds this way. I actually stopped when I hit 2,000 looking for them intensely 
because I rather when my car when I'm drive when I'm in the passenger seat or traveling with somebody else, I'd rather have my coin app going to make money through coin, which mines X Y Z. I think it's zero, not O. Not sure. Somebody's got to correct me on that. But Coin, which is another app that pays out when I'm traveling, I'd rather use Coin than the Atlas Bucks. I do go back and forth because I'm in the passenger seat. So we go back and forth. So, but as soon as you get six diamonds, you can stop. If you want to go longer, go longer. But you don't need more than six per day because you can only use five spins per day. And usually if you're traveling every day to work in the passenger seat by the train on the bus or anything like that, you pretty much will get the six. You want to get more because the next two days you're not going to and you don't want to run out? Okay, that's fine. But these are my strategies and this is what I'm suggesting. So I went over diamonds. I went over parcels. Now remember, if you do it, it's been calculated that if you are up 24 hours a day, and doing every 20 minutes, you're gonna get 114, which is enough for one parcel. After you hit 40 parcel, that's when we add badges. Badges don't make a difference. The first badge gives you 5%. Don't make a difference anywhere below that. So as soon as you hit 40, that's when you get badges. Well, what happens then? Like I said, the only exception to this for buying badges beyond parcels is if you're traveling. If you're traveling, then you want to get as many badges as you can. Why? You're not going to be in that area again. And to get to the limit, which is bonus 25, you need 101 badges. Now, I don't know about you, but I've been stuck at 60 badges right now. For about three months. And I have not been able to get to 61. Why? There was only 60 badges in my area. That I constantly travel to. So if I had been buying badges. When I've been say to New York City. Or out in the East End. I could have been beyond that. I always speak from the level of experience about this. And what I learn. What I fail. And what I read from other people. Badges is also the only time. I can say that you can spend money. Because remember. When you're spending money, you got to make it up. And never chase after losses. Never chase after losses. Makes no sense. Don't put yourself in a losing position. You don't have to. You, may, you can make up to 114 per day. And that's not including diamonds. And that's not including spending money at merchants. If you already eat there and they're readily available. You can make 150 Atlas bucks if you go, hey, listen. Can I use my card to get my points and I'll pay for the Burger King, but you give me $20 and then you're up to 50, 30, 70 because you get the whole group to help you out so that you can make the points. It makes no sense to spend your money unless it's for badges that you wouldn't be no able to get normally. So that's it. So after you hit 40 and you start buying badges, then you're going to want to stack. And what I mean by this is this. Save 200 Atlas Bucks. Then on your next 100, you buy a parcel. Keep on going. 200, 100, 200, 100, 200, 100, 200, 100. I actually use a spreadsheet to keep up with this. Then when you get to 150, stop. I did a whole video where we stop at 150. We don't go to 151. It's because the bonus of 30% that you get from watching the other ad goes down to 20. There's multiple reasons for this. We're not going to argue with the developers. That's the way it is. So at 150, you stop. And you just buy badges. But you want to stack to get to the 70 that you need to get back to the next level. And like I said, I made a whole video explaining that. So I'm not going to regurgitate. So basically, the whole thing is... That now you're just buying badges. So, again, 200, buy a badge when you're in the area. 100, stack to get your next parcel. The only time it's kind of acceptable to go up to 151 and not jump to 220, which really doesn't make any sense, but it depends how you feel and how much you're getting, is to defend your mayorship. 
But the mayorship really doesn't make you that much unless you're in an area that people are buying a lot of badges anyway. And you will jump up to 220 and you could probably reclaim your mayorship on that. So it's probably worth it to wait. It makes sense for that. So I went over diamonds, I went over badges, went over money, don't lose money. Last thing, I did a whole video about subscriptions. I'm making $18 a month. Uh, soon I should be 19 and 20. It expands exponentially. As soon as you reach 50, then go for the subscription of $49.99. You will see it exponentially increase the amount that you're going to get. And now you're not losing money. Do not do it because, like I said, you at a position of loss and you're chasing losses. If I was to buy a subscription now, I'd be losing 32 a month. I would be making it up by getting more parcels, but it's not worth it to start at a losing position. Never worth it in investing gambling to start at a losing position. Don't do it. Don't start at a losing position. Start, stay positive, stay at a positive position. I put up a video on my rate of returns 800%. If I spend any more money, then that's gonna diminish my rate of return. It's not worth it. It's not worth it to play the game. It's not necessary. In the long run, you're going to win. Start at position positive. Always. All right. So if you guys like what I say, what I like to do, my strategy, what well, argue with me in the comments, go ahead. I argue with people all day about the game. I love the game. I appreciate it. Make sure to follow me on Twitter, Risky6877. On threads, Risky687. Uh, risk Risky687. Uh, please like what I say, subscribe, share my video, tell other people to subscribe to say that this guy knows what he's talking about. Say, I don't know what I'm talking about. Either way, I'm good. I'm confident when I say I got the numbers to match. I got the videos to show it. Keep on continuing. Keep on playing. Enjoy. Remember, coin is also good. Like I said, I'll probably do another video in a couple of days on coin specifically. Also read my books, Coffee and Cash by Chris Alexinas, A-L-E-X-I-N-A-S. And Hidden Tre uh, Missing Treasure. Again, Chris Alexinas, A-L-E-X-I-N-A-S. Available on Amazon. And if you haven't played Atlas Bucks, then don't put the link so that you can play and start playing and start making money. Please like and subscribe to my channel. Look at my videos and share them and tell people about me. I appreciate it. Everybody have a blessed day. Be good. I uh, love you, my wife, Emanuela, and my kids. I'm so proud of you. And just have a really decent day. Mm -hmm.